All right, I just flashed my PlayStation 1 with 148. The new Tony Hex International just came out. We're going to test the format support. And also, it has an updated ThenGen to generate GameShark codes. So I have a GameShark file on here already transferred. I have other videos showing how to do that. So I put a Perks Adventure 13 codes onto this card. And we are going to test out, with the lid up, the new 148. Alright, so we got some changes to the screen. And 148 says also triangle to format new memory card. So I can hit triangle and you also you get a new prompt here and it actually asks you what slot you want to format. So I put it in slot one, so I'm gonna hit cross. And we got a success message. Now this is actually not that uh, simple, well, it's very helpful now that I can format because I used to have to use a format CD. Memory card formatter anytime there was an issue with memory cards. So now I can do not need to use the CD if this is successful. So, And I'll show you real quick. This is simple, but you still have to boot it up. And this is the program right here. It's just a small prompt, and it says, you know, X for 1, O for 2. But the problem is, there's a few issues. One, it sucks having to boot up another program. And two, it's uh, 50 hertz. So some monitors look a little funny with it. Okay, back to the test. We got a back of Herc's Adventure. The new 148 I flashed onto the cheat cart. Got a memory card in the slot, and there's a new prompt now. So when you drop the file onto the ThenGen, you get some more information, and you just hit any key, and that generates your file. So you just got to move that then the Tony Hex GS file to memory card. So I'm just going to copy this at the PlayStation 2. Just put it onto the PlayStation 1 memory card. You know, I got both consoles set up side by side, so this is, you know, pretty convenient for me. You might want to use a Mem Card Pro or as another device. Alright, now we got our GameShark file in there. And we can go back to testing the new 148. Start it, go back where we were. Alright, so formatted the memory card, got all the old codes off of it. And now we're gonna test the trusty game shark function circle on 148. And we worked 13 code lines. And one thing that's cool if your memory card ever doesn't read correctly. Um, they added the feature that you can reseed it and then um, just reload instead of having to restart the whole console, so that's nice. But everything worked. We got our codes injected and we can just shut our lid. Okay, shutting the lid. I still think this is so cool every time I use this. They keep adding features and I just, I'm really loving it. The memory card feature, uh, format feature, is really handy when you run into issues. Alright, Herx Adventure booted with the codes injected. And let's test the code out real quick. Make sure it worked. Alright, and there we go. Uh, I can do storms right away, which is a function that you normally can't do. And if you look at the upper left, I have max of all the uh, special abilities, so the game shortcuts are working. So 148 eliminates the need for the memory card formatter CD, now that's really cool. And we have a updated 
then gen generator for our codes that shows us exactly what codes we have in, which ones are working, which ones are valid before we generate the GameShark file. So a huge win. Uh, really appreciate the update and all the work that the devs are doing. And I will see you guys around. Hopefully um, I'll get some other content. And um, pretty much covered everything I could. That's why I haven't had any videos for a while. But if I can come up with anything else, if there's any new releases, I will have another video out. Thanks. See you guys later.